up y'all if you're new here what's up girl hey girl hey so this is not a drill your girl's addicted to bath and body works okay so yeah i am i said it i'm proud of it um <clears throat> so here's the thing we're going to b-dubs i call it b-dubs because uh, I got a 10 off a 30 coupon and plus they have my candles that were really hard to find so I'm pulling up so I really want to find the quickest way to get to the mall from here um Crabtree Mall and then I need to buy some amethyst no some rose quartz from the mall anyway so yeah I'm 18 minutes away starting route to Crabtree Valley Mall it's always so far. We at the beat ups. Okay, we at the Crabtree Valley Mall. We're not at the Bath and Body Works just yet. We're about to walk in. I cracked myself up. Like, why are you here? You make candles. It's a deal. I like a deal. New new lace with this. But yeah, I'll see y'all when we get out or if you get in on that record. I'll see y'all then. Hey, I get that. This is so cool. I wonder, do y'all have any more left, or is this it? Um, I think we have a few left. Okay. But I don't know. I haven't looked in the hot minute, but cool. They do sell really well. Awesome. Well, I'll definitely reach out to Jacob. $55. Okay, y'all, I'm home, and I just want to thank God. Just in general, let's just take a moment to say thank you to Jesus. Hallelujah. So I just got off live about an hour ago. I was on live, and then I went to Bath and Body Works. You guys just saw me drive over there. I didn't finish my white claw. <laughs> I had white claw during the live, and this is all that's left of it. Um, I don't drink wine or like vodka or any or you know real liquor. Because both of those would make me tired and have more calories than what I'm looking to drink. I got a really, really good deal at Bath & Body Works. So, my total discount was $77.06. So, I don't know why God was working on me. But somehow, I had a new member's 10 off of 30. I don't know how I got a new member 10 off of 30. I'm definitely not a new member to Bath & Body Works. But I got a new member 10 off of 30 code. In my app, it just showed up. And today they were doing 20% off. And you know, when you go into Bath and Body Works, you can use both. So I used 10 off of 30 plus 20% off. So also, this set here, You're the One, was in a bin with a different SKU number than the others. But this one uh, was $6. And the ones in the other bin were $16.50. So this is the last one that was $6. It was like an accident for me to find it so I bought it like it was the last one I was like I don't know why it's like that and well really what I did was there was a tester of it on the sales there was a tester of it on the 595 495 uh table and I was like do you have this set and she went to the bin and she's like oh I found one there's only one left it could be in the wrong bin it's 50 percent off and I was like oh what's 50 percent of that and then she's like oh it is on sale um, it's a different SKU number, and I was like, oh, maybe a miracle, it'll be a good deal. And when I got to the register, she was like, um, she scanned it, and the original price was, um, I think it was like $6. So then I also was able to use my 20% off and 10 off for 30 so it was $4.57. This was $4.57. That's so crazy. It was so hard to find, and it, <laughs> I don't even like the scent. That's the funny part. Like, it smells old to me. Like, I'm going to exchange it. <laughs> but, you know, it was just the principle. <laughs> that is so funny. And then I got it. This is what I do like. This smells so good. This is strawberry pound cake. And the lady at the Bath & Body Works in Morrisville was, like, yelling at me. She was like, this is full price. And I was like, on your site, it says $4.95. And she found them. She said, I found them for $4.95. She was making a big deal about it. And then I went to the mall, Bath and Body Works, because you know, I'm crazy. I go to several different Bath and Body Works. And I went to the mall, and they had a whole bin of these. They had like 50 of these in there. It smells so good. So I got three. This is strawberry pound cake. It smells so good. 
y'all it just smells like really good sweet delicious yummy scent that's strong you don't even need a fragrance oil because you have this so strong and then i got this body body um this is bath this is a bath um what is this called this is bubble bath y'all i can't even think straight but i got bubble bath because um i always like taking baths that work out so much and I remember going to another Bath & Body Works a few days ago and I was like, these were 50% off. So I was like, I don't want a bubble bath for $9.50. So this bubble bath was this bubble bath was $2.57. Like, wow. I should have got more. <laughs> this was $2 instead of $9.50. This is crazy. Like, this is originally $18.50. I got it for $2.57. It's just ridiculous. And then um, I got three candles. So birthday cake. I love this scent. Um, very sweet scent. Uh, $11.95. But on the sale, I got it for $6.20. So I got this candle for $6.20. Um, yeah. And then I got two strawberry pound cake. Which I got... Um, at $11.95 with 20% off so they were like $10 each so still really good deal for these and this is my favorite scent from them so I'm glad I got two and then you guys saw me I went to the crystal store and I got some rose quartz this was $55 by the way all of these are $55 like expensive <laughs> yeah but it was $55.50. So I feel like it was like an alignment, abundance, you know. So I am going to add that to these because these just have like rose quartz chips in them. Um, one just fell out. So I'm going to add some real rose quartz to them and make more candles. I need to buy more wax, guys. Yeah. So I feel like this was a very, very successful day, you know. So it was eleven. It was a hundred and eleven dollars. So it was one 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 divided by two is fifty five fifty. So it's like all this alignment, abundance, all this, all the angels. So yeah, I'm about to just I don't know eat and go to sleep, and then you know this week is gonna be very busy. It felt so good to have a day off. Like I could tell my brain was going into this like loop of calm, and kindness. Like without a nine to five, I am very peaceful and happy, and like. Zen, I even get skinny. It's like it's crazy. Okay, guys, I just got out of two meetings. They changed another thing in my team. I feel like I'm a foster kid where they keep putting me on different teams, but it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. This is this is my home. This is gonna be my home. <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't move or whatever. Or Hey y'all, what's up y'all? Okay, it is Tuesday. It's at the end of the day. It's like 5.03. Your girl has been, oh my God, my brain has just been expanding in like, in terms of my perspective, my desires, my focus, all of these things have been just spinning in my mind about like where I can improve, what I can do to be of value to this world with doing something that I love. Cause honestly, at the end of the day, I'm noticing what it is I want. And slowly but surely, I'm identifying what it is I want to do long term. Okay, so I just spent like two hours on my computer. Um, and I found three markets. So, very proud of myself there. I applied for three markets. Hopefully, I get approved. It's really low cost. One of them was only $60. It's exciting. So, I could take that off my list. Now, I need to text the mineral store owner. I'll text him with you guys so you can see what I'm going to say. Um, one of his employees does subscribe. Hey. Hey, boy. Hey. I know you subscribe. I don't remember your name, but you got some amazing music. Yeah. We have to do a TikTok, and this is going to be hard. So I could do this. I got to just use my intuition and what trending. Cause I'll be talking and shit. I tell y'all all the time, y'all need to do trending reels, trending TikToks. It gives you more followers. If you want more sales, 
you need to do more marketing and I need to practice what I preach so here we are pre practicing what we preach you gonna learn today crack myself up y'all but yeah I got this dress from Fashion Nova I'm gonna be using this in our Instagram TikTok reel series so let's go down to the studio get it right get it right get it tight I like this dress. I like the top. I feel like I could wear this in meetings and they wouldn't even know. Like, business at the top, bad bitch at the bottom. <laughs> All right, y'all. It is Tuesday. Let's see how many days it takes for the mineral store owner to respond to my text because, you know, he's slow. Okay, something is going on in my brain where I'm like, hmm. You should take your candles to a public location and take pictures of them <laughs> i don't know i just give like that would be the right thing to do so i'm about to grab some candles and take them to a public location and take pictures of them only thing i'm worried about though is that i don't have labels stickers for them so i'm gonna try to find some stickers I want to go out into the world, into like nature, and take product photos. I don't know how that would go. I just feel so alive. Clarity, we found one. Good, good, good. So yeah. Be from your gut, honey. Say what you want, my. Yeah, guys, we are here. So I came up to a place. Um, I don't know if the sun is still setting. It kind of looks a little weird. So hopefully I can get some good shots. I'm going to just, you know, stand over here. Camera. So you do video. Um, and you do portrait mode. Natural light. this is a weird location and we got a few cute pictures but still not like the best area to do this in like i can't really find areas super close to me i feel like i have to go out a few minutes to find somewhere that has what i'm looking for also, yeah, I just feel like um, I want to drive by my old job. Like that would be really nostalgic to just go see it. Like I used to work somewhere right over here, and to turn this way. So I'm just trying to go around him. There must be a large event going on or something. I don't know. But yeah, I'm just being nosy. <laughs> God is so good. Hallelujah. I used to park right over here and go into work. And this is where all the managers were parked. My office was over here. <sighs> they have a pool right there. This is, def you'll definitely see managers back here. I kind of don't want to go back here. But if I do, if they see me, they'll see it. They'll know why I'm back here, I'm recording. where all the managers would park. I remember I used to have to park back here to clock in, and then I got 
got promoted. I didn't have to clock in anymore. But yeah, we're just gonna go home now. I feel like that was a, like a little mini product photo moment. We'll probably take better product photos at a hotel. Okay guys, so I typically try to do Instagram reels with the ring light on and something funny. It's really important to only use three tags and incorporate a call to action. Make sure that you have some incentive on your site that you bring up in the description. So like free shipping or a free gift with purchase or even uh, just put something like you will get 20% off. Anything like that as a call to action. You have to have something to make people want to click and see, okay, what would I get? Uh, because often you never know who's going to click on it and see the incentive and be more enlightened to actually make that sale so yeah just keep going y'all we are in this together we need to get as consistent as possible with these reels i'm going to show y'all how it came out right here entrepreneur means i did that shit by myself in conclusion entrepreneur till i die i deserve this bye Hey guys, what's up? It is Wednesday, so very interesting week already in terms of I just got a response from, you know, the mineral store owner. I told y'all, I was like, I'm, I think I texted him yesterday and he finally responded today. We were making jokes back and forth and everything. Um, he's like, haha, you know, just joking. And he said he put selenite in a toaster oven and it exploded. <laughs> so FYI, I'm not using selenite because he said that. And then he said, um, <laughs> I'll never explain this to y'all, but when I got the partnership with the malls, I cannot believe I was just laughing just then. This is serious. This is, we gotta have a serious talk, y'all. It's sad. Cue the violins and violas. Um, so when I was doing the initial partnership with the malls, I just remember the person I talked to got fired. Like she had me, oh, I could cry. Cause I just been really, I'm, I just got off my period, but still I've just been on my emotional roller coaster of feelings and thoughts. Y'all saw me cry last week. Y'all know I don't be crying like that. I'm a thug. I'm a gang bitch. I'm a big gangster. <laughs> I'm a gangster. So, yep. I um, met her. I'm not name. Her name is Lena. I met Lena at the. We'll call her Lena. That's not her real name. I met Lena. I think there is a Lena there. So we'll call her um, uh, Grain Graina. I met Graina there. Um, and I was like, who makes the jewelry? She said, I make the jewelry. Um, so that was so beautiful. And I was like, oh, I make candles. She's like, do you do wholesale? And she's the reason why I got a wholesale partnership in the mall. And um, because she told me to bring in my work. So y'all know I finessed those clear Libby jars. Um, this one I've burnt out forever. But yeah, these are the jars that I brought her. I got these jars from Candle Science. I'll never forget that. I had those clear jars. I had some stones from Michaels, some amethyst from Michaels, and I had some dried flowers with resin coated. And I just made up random fragrances, got drunk and stuff, and um, made all these amazing scents. So I brought her three scents. They had the same stones in them, um, and she loved them. She was just like, I don't understand why you don't just do. Uh, three of these sets with different stones so that she may buy stones from her. I bought a lot of stones from her. I uh, spent like hundreds of dollars on stones. Or yeah, hundreds of dollars on stones. And then I came back with the products. The products were these uh, clear vessels with the stones in it that I purchased. And basically I was pitching to her boss to 
make him buy them and he did it like he was like he was so busy he had a phone he had two phones one for the plug one for the load he had all of that going on hung up and then he called him back he was like it should be tax exempt so basically he taught me that it should be tax exempt when you are doing reselling so that was really cool but um the reason why you brought this story up is because she went to bat for me and she put together these zodiac stones for uh the the stores which are um you know she did great things it's so sad that they he just said um she's long gone <laughs> he didn't say he fired her like i wonder why they fired her she was very stressed i could tell you that like she ain't never wearing a bra she had big old boobies like they was like and she ain't never wearing no bra so that's that gives stress to me like you didn't have time to tuck him tuck him up put him away but um anyways <laughs> so he gave me insight into um crystals like how to search for crystals for each stone so like i have crystals for aquarians amethyst labradorite uh jade garnet so basically i want to do a collection with amethyst and labradorite or really i'll do something new like aquamarine affectionate and friendly because it will describe their personality traits you know aquarius are intelligent but broad-minded and creative affectionate and friendly so i'll do that to describe them and yeah y'all i think closed another deal oh lord what do you do when you had asked god it's like uh, uh jesus hallelujah i know the odds are against your girl right and then he just make he be just throwing blessings the more you pray so uh that's a song that says that so step one is contrast causes you to ask step two is it is given vibrationally so there is no gap really step three is you have to convince yourself there's no gap that's the work you got to feel it as if it is in order for it to be you know when it's a lot of money you whisper money is quiet oh. <laughs> broke is loud money is quiet <laughs> i bought lids today i bought 36 silver lids today hopefully that's enough don't be like me i didn't count Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I think it should be probably still need one more. Whoops. Raw juicery. Three days. Hardcore. We're going man whore. Man whore. Hey guys, so here's the juice cleanse I was telling you guys about. Here's the guide. I unboxed everything. It comes with five juices and this aftermath thing. So as you can see, here are all the juices. Here are all the juices. I put them all out like this so I can see them all. Here's the aftermath thing I was talking about. It has aloe vera in it, y'all. That's so cool. I hope you can focus. Master cleanse. Some good stuff i needed this because i have been eating processed foods hey guys what's up it's friday oh my gosh so i have to go get more labels because we're doing the samples today um and i found out i ran out of circle labels so that's fun instead of going to amazon bro, i'm just gonna go to like walmart and get them oh excuse me or even we'll see guys we'll just see where oh it's 333 make a wish You know, all that shorty. So yeah, I just wanna go, I'm gonna try my hardest but just to go get labels and get back home. Don't do anything different. I just wanna focus on my business today. And then um, Sunday, to make returns and do all that type of stuff. So yeah, I probably should change my battery, it'll die soon. 
We change the battery and we'll go to like Office Depot. The car tour is going to be up soon. I'm trying to do some really cool stuff with it. It also looks like it's going to rain today. Ooh, looks like it's about to rain. But yeah. I have never loved. I have never loved a car more. Like, it's so cold. It's always so cold in here. My AC was broken for a year in my Nissan. So, that's another reason why I needed a new car. My AC was broken. All four tires needed to be replaced. Um, it was just at any moment that car was dead. You know, I knew at some point. Labels. Here's the two. Seven dollars. Yeah, baby. Yeah. So we yeah, all get this. Glossy white. Six labels. Okay. Okay. Period. And they have some square labels too. So some people use this for melts, but I don't like that. That's not my vibe. This is my vibe. Okay. I think I'm gonna just get one to the sixty. I'm only doing 60. That's like, how many sheets is that? I don't know, that should be 5, 60. Right. Let's get out of here for your bloody toes. <laughs> okay, guys, so let's brighten the screen. All right, guys, so we are in canva.com. What I love about Canva is that it is an, is an amazing resource for us as business owners to create product uh, labels that is super important to have an aesthetically pleasing product label that is not only uh, professional, but provides an eye-catching look that will convert to a sale. So as you can see, guys, I have a lot of uh, you know stuff going on <laughs> but yeah in terms of the labels we're doing right now we're doing circle Avery labels which I do not know the dimensions of so I'm just gonna google them because Avery doesn't do custom labels so I know that this will be the exact one that I have um, just in terms of that so circle Avery this is it so it is two and one fourth blank round this is what i have um as you saw they don't do anything this is, is what it is two and a half wait it could be two okay um, no it's this one because i know i have space in between not close like that that's how i'll be thinking y'all that's my brain so yes two and one fourth round right so what we're gonna do here is go in and um, create a custom design um, in this in the size uh, custom size, and we're going to be doing a three by three. Okay, perfect. Because we want our circle to be two and one fourth, so we're going to insert an element, which will be a circle frame. Um, yeah, right here, and bring it all the way out, perfect, perfect. So what that'll do is give us a guideline for how much surface area we have to work with. Um, I just want to confirm that this is two inches, this is two and one fourth, and then these are just straight up two all around. Okay, <sighs> Sorry guys, a little tired, even with the coffee chocolate. So yeah, just from here, you can go in. I'm going to be doing maple chai and sweet cream. I'm gonna show you an example of that. Um, and then I'll show you how I, I, I put this together. So this is maple chai and sweet cream. Here's the picture, here's all the important details. So what I did was, uh, on this blank screen, just went to photos and type in maple chai. Right, and then you just scroll through 
and as you can see you get these beautiful images which you know what i love this one so i can bring this in i'm also going to show you guys how i do an email a marketing email today because everything is back in stock i was like why am i not getting sales but then i realized i had everything sold out clarity was sold out reset was sold out all of my dream collection was sold out like you girl was tripping tripping so here this is, and I love Canva because if you put a picture on the full surface area, it goes to the back. So now you can see your circle and work from there. And I'm just gonna go back in here and copy all of this and change the wording. So we just move that to the center. Right here. Okay, and we can even move this, which I love. So those two we're keeping, but then here, I'm gonna keep Hanport and Raleigh, and for a wax melt, the amount of burn time, I Google it, wax melt burn time. Instead of putting in the burn time, I'm just going to delete that and put in the ounces. Oh, wait, not here. <laughs> here, I'm going to delete this and I'm just going to put the ounces, which is three. Perfect. So that is the label. In terms of the label, I want to make sure that they're legible, so I'll definitely make this bigger. Um, and I may change the color. I don't know, it just depends. Effects. Right. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> that'll do it. So we'll change this to black or even a creamy one. And then effects. Okay, so I kind of hate it. <laughs> so I'm gonna try a different background. So let's do this. I like to do a duplicate page and then change the background. I think I love that. Wow, I love that. <laughs> I think I love that. Wow, I love that. <laughs> Backwards, back, back, forth and forth. That's perfect. Okay, I love that. Perfect. The main reason why I put the circle there is really just as a guideline so I can know where it makes the most sense to have the label. Okay, perfect. That is done. Now I'm just gonna select share and download it. And then, guys, so 
fun fact this is not three ounces this is the sample so we're just gonna put right here your For a sample, I do green. I don't really like it. You know, you just really have to like it. So I think this would be maybe white level pepper. Let's see. and let's just take the effects off far away from the circle just in case the circle's too big you know just what have you okay perfect so now we're going to share it so like download so like keep png that's the highest quality Yes, if I can, because you know they got your back. And so, like, page two, it's like download. It takes a minute, y'all. It takes like two to three seconds, and then boom, there it goes. And now we're gonna go back into Avery, right? And go and sign in. Okay, and now we're gonna go to our projects. Give me your project, chick. Okay, so these are two inches around. So I'm gonna go into the one I did in May. Open the project. Give me a food red sheet. Okay, and I'm gonna edit all in a delete satin sheet, which I love, but we're gonna delete it. Put in our new design. it's gonna go and the best part about this is that uh, Avery shows you what the outline is gonna look like so you have the opportunity to move it around a little bit make it a little bit bigger just things like that you know Um, yeah, so that's how I'm gonna do that. I really think that I should just go back into Canva and use the other um, template here. Yeah, so that was just an example of what I do. Here's what the template looks like. For example, I'll make warning labels and stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna duplicate this page. change it to make it Oh, 
home and then just change the background. I'm trying to figure out which one I like, y'all. This is a harder one because it has a, an, an image that is taking away from the design. So I'm just trying to figure out what would look the best. Oh, yeah. I got it. Okay. That'll work. And I know this is like... Um, okay, echo. So I'm gonna echo this. White. Perfect. Okay, I'll take it. Download this. Yeah, baby, yeah. Just paid eight. And then put it in here. I don't know how I got to that corner, but there it is. Yeah. And there you have it, folks. A label. But we're actually going to delete the bottom row because we're only going to do six of each scent. Yeah, we should actually keep this because we're going to do six of each because we're only going to do one wax melt for samples. So it's going to be like six molds. All right. And now we're going to print. So for me to print, I have to go to preview and print and then print it yourself and then here I get to zoom in and see if I messed up and as you can see I did mess up because the sense is overlapping I love that they gave you the opportunity to redeem yourself so customize go back in there and move it over boom so here so now they're all good preview and print again zoom in yep I love butter but if uh, it's now just like print it yourself, get the PDF to print, save that thing, save it again. Okay. Open. This is the file we want. You select print and then go more settings. Make sure it's fit to print away area not fit to paper okay and then so like print and i'll see y'all on the other side it's the end of the weekend but i still wanna turn up yeah i still wanna turn up all i want is to go Okay, so I make wax melt samples as an incentive on my website just to give people an idea of what other scents I have available. So I just put these melt cubes in a Ziploc bag and then I put it in the box. I really think these boxes make it very aesthetically pleasing and look like more than what it is. Honestly, you would just think that this was a huge, you know, elaborate gift and it's really just a wax melt. Um, but I just think that as a small business owner, it's the small things that we do to stand out, like have these really expensive looking samples to make sure that your consumers understand understand that you are a value so I'd highly recommend to be very detail oriented when it comes to your packaging because it definitely pays off in the long run 
and increases repeat business. It is the most gratifying thing ever when somebody smells one of my samples and they make a purchase in the future. So I highly recommend that you include an incentive, like a discount in your packaging, as well as a free gift. Because what will happen is if somebody's seeing this as like, okay, the fast shipping, she just gave me a discount and she just gave me this really amazing sample. I'm going to use this discount to get this scent because I love this scent. That's just how it goes. So yeah, hope that helps you guys. Comment below um, if you need any additional tips on She wanna know me, I stay low key, all gas, no breaks, baby, let them hoes sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one in the more one. So what is gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Is you riding on a team? Got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? You never lie to me Keep the moves on tuck I know it's all up Everything good Keep the vibes on crush I know it's all good Know it's all Check for me. Building, it's my season. They found. 
foundation Make a name for generations Please and make a And take a break Or a little vacation And chase and blues away hey, hey. You always posting up pictures Trying to look like you winning Or look like you always be working Soaking the moments you live in Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't ask me
Okay guys, so it's Saturday. As you guys just saw, I made these samples here for um, all of my candles. And I'm also gonna be sending out a email marketing just in notifying that you get a free sample with every purchase. Definitely would encourage you guys to do the same thing. Uh, if you do offer an incentive with your candle orders, use that as an advantage to send out marketing in terms of either a video on your Instagram, because we only post videos on Instagram. We don't post pictures anymore, right? Right? And then <laughs> in terms of the email marketing, it's so important to keep sending out emails because the more often you're in someone's like inbox the more often you're on their mind the more likely that they're going to convert so i hope this helps um yeah guys this is the end of the vlog i i woke up at 4 a.m i'll be honest um i got up at four because i couldn't sleep um next week we're going to be uh once all of my clear labels come in and all the stuff from Wooden With Co comes in, we're going to be doing a mock, uh, what's it called, mock market. Because, you know, I haven't been able to get a market approved. I'm waitlisted for a lot of people. So I've been trying, y'all. I'm gonna get one manifested in it. We're getting one. And then this this uh, quick quick tent is on my, on my head. So I definitely wanna show y'all what their uh, <laughs> tents look like next week so you'll gain access to that next week um yeah i feel really good i feel like motivated to keep pushing through to this year like just in terms of business uh, i think it's a sign though that i think everything's a sign but guys by the way i think it's a sign that the mineral store owner is not ready for more candles because that means you can take all these candles you have here for you to a market okay period and i was watching my box candle Co. hey girl hey i don't know if she watched it she watched it so cool. but i was watching your video about oh, i don't want to get wax my weed but i was watching your video about how um I was watching a video about how it's important to do a mock market to see how long it'll take to set up. So, if anything, yes, we're going to do that outside in my neighborhood. I don't know if this is dangerous. Like, we please don't come kill me. It's. but yeah and it's just like so much area like open grass area in this neighborhood because really it's designed for people to walk their dogs now now i know that so essentially um i'm gonna try i'm gonna ask the office i'm trying to think because honestly i could do it on a sunday and get away with it <laughs> but because you know when you try to do something it's important to think about, okay, should I ask? Or, cause they're gonna know, and they'll say no, and then watch and make sure you don't do it, or should you do it anyway? And they won't even notice. Like, I don't know. I'll probably ask and see what they say. Cause I don't wanna be like, you know, rude, but yeah. <laughs> I just wanna do a mock trial of it on at least Wednesday or Thursday of next week. So yeah, that's the situation for that. I'm also posting another video on how to mix fragrances. As you guys saw, I got a, a hole, a sinkhole, which is already, you know, solidifying itself. As you can see, you see it's already coming together. Good. Because um, I got a sinkhole because I poured and then I let it like cure for like two seconds and I re-poured. Never do that. Never, ever, ever re-pour like that. If you didn't fill it to the top, um, you have to, and, and it's been like two to three minutes, definitely don't add, because then what it's gonna do is the wax, the new hot wax is going to just dip into the slightly cooler wax, you know? You don't want that vibe, because you need a sinkhole. Yeah, hope that helps, guys. Super excited for next week. Comment what you wanna see. I keep,
yeah definitely comment what you want to see i keep seeing comments about fragrance oil mixing and uh, understanding more about how to price candles so you all will have those two videos next week i hope this was helpful if it was you know just seeing someone else's day in the life week in the life let me know i'm also going to do a day in the life of an account executive that works from home and owns a business so you can see how i do both at the same time in terms of what i do for work regarding sales and meetings and then my candle business keeping that up and running because i'd love to share that with you guys it's hard and it even got harder because my job started to go a little bit better and go hold you it's not that bad it's not that bad hold y'all <laughs> but yeah i hope this helped um yeah i'll just see y'all next week bye Y'all know I always like to end off these vlogs with something encouraging. So I have learned so much in the last five days. Because often your mind is the only thing that you have to fight with. Because I've seen in scenarios that like at work of me worrying about things that just don't even exist. It's just not even real things. So you just have to focus in your attention to what really what you want attention on what you want gives you what you want if you put your attention on things that are familiar that are bad that's all you're gonna get i remember when i was younger i would like have be broke and have no money and i was just like why does all this happen to me and your mind my mind would just keep you know expounding upon that thought like this is this this is this this is why this is this i me 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 this is bad about me and then with quarantine covid and i got fired i was like wait a minute so what you're saying is everything you want in your life is based upon the story you tell yourself and if you and if you are locked into the story that other people have society has placed on us then you never win so basically you have to release that story from society that says that in the hustle culture that says you have to go like work super super hard to make money i see some things that i see man um yeah just comment what you guys want to see and i hope you all enjoyed the rest of your day your week your next hour just live in your purpose go do something that scares you and be happy okay bye